Welcome to PCTrickScooter.com and in today's video I'll show you how to perform a manual removal of Microsoft Office which almost resolves every issue with the Microsoft Office installation and if you are getting any kind of error messages while launching your application then the manual removal and reinstallation process it really helps so let's go ahead and see that how to manually remove the Microsoft Office so usually you know that uh, to remove any application from the computer we just have to open uh, the list of the application through the run command appwiz.cpl and click OK and from here you can search for Microsoft Office and then right click here and click on uninstall to begin the installation but this method uh, actually does not completely remove the Microsoft Office leftover files and the corrupted registry entries so in the video I'll explain that how to find the leftover files and delete the registry entries manually and uh, this video is definitely going to help you to resolve the problems with the installation and launching issues of Microsoft Office so let's go ahead and uh, start the video the first thing which we need to do is to run the office and installation fix it the old office and installation fix it the new fix it the Sara that is useless completely useless it doesn't work because I tested it with so many errors and I found that instead of fixing the errors Sara actually creates the problem so instead of using the latest Microsoft uninstall fix it I'll use the older one which was much better so to access the old office and installation fix it just launch your web browser and go to this URL that is tinyurl.com com forward slash old office fix it direct so this is the URL tinyurl.com forward slash old office fix it direct now hit enter it will try to connect to the server and then it will ask you to save or download the fix it tool so let me save it to the desktop once the fix it has been downloaded you can either click here to run the fix it or you can go to the source location where it is downloaded and run it from there so we can just click here now the fix it is opened click on next and now it will try to detect that which Microsoft Office applications are installed in the machine so it will find that office is installed here you can see that uh, in this machine multiple versions of Microsoft Office are installed which is actually true earlier I had Office 2016 installed but I just uninstalled that using the control panel so that's why it's detecting that there are some other versions of Microsoft Office also installed in the machine so we have to click yes remove all office installations click on it and now it will initiate it will begin the uninstallation for Microsoft Office so you can set this window aside let it do its task let the fix it run in the background now let's proceed to the next step in the next step we have to open run by right clicking on start and click on run after opening run type the location that is percent app data and percent and click on OK after clicking on OK it opens the application data for the user account now we have to search for Microsoft folder here is Microsoft folder double click on it and in the Microsoft folder if you find any application or any folder that is related to Microsoft Office such as Excel, Word, PowerPoint, Office, Outlook, Publisher select all of them and delete them so let's start looking from the beginning here is Microsoft Excel so select it now scroll down here is Microsoft Office press the control key hold the control key and while holding the control key click on the office icon so it will select both the folders together 
now scroll down and search for the other folders that are related to microsoft office so here is outlook select this one as well then powerpoint and publisher and and word so that's it these are the applications that are related to microsoft office right click on them and click on delete so these applications these folders have been deleted from the app data now we have to open run again and go to percent program data percent and you can see that the fix it has removed most of the files successfully it's asking us to restart the computer but we will restart the computer once we are done with the whole removal process so we just have to click on next so here you can see that problems found only one problem was there could not find Microsoft Office which has been fixed even if you see any error here any red X or any error do not panic do not worry the fix it has done its job now it's our task to manually remove the Microsoft Office files and it is safe it's not going to delete any of your personal files or folders if you have stored any word document excel document anything in your computer they will be there in your computer but if you are using Microsoft Outlook it is going to be reset so before proceeding towards this uh, manual removal make sure that you have taken the backup of your Microsoft Outlook so now we can close this troubleshooter and open the percent program data percent folder here I did a mistake I think okay a G is missing here program data click OK now again do the same thing search for Microsoft folder which is here and delete the any folder which is related to Microsoft Office so I don't see that it has any folder that is related to Microsoft Office the fix it already deleted it so we can now close this now let's move to the next step right click here go to run and type REGEDIT so this will open the Windows registry editor in the Windows registry editor we have to delete the Microsoft Office entries so expand the second hive that is H key current user now expand the software hive this one scroll down and look for Microsoft here it is expand the Microsoft as well and look for Microsoft Office or just Office so so here is only one uh, hive that contains the word office or that is related to office so you can right click here and delete it yes now if you find more than one entries here related to Microsoft Office you need to delete all of them but make sure that you do not delete any other folder or any other entry that does not contain the word office because that will delete any important registry entry which might corrupt the operating system so we are done with the deletion with the first hive now we can collapse it expand the third hive go to the same location go to software and then go to Microsoft which is I think at the bottom here there it is expand it now search for the office so here are two entries office and office CSP so before deleting these entries we will have to make sure that we provide the administrator rights to these uh, hives because sometimes it does not get deleted so if I try to delete it it should return an error let's try and check so here you can see that it uh, gives us the error that cannot delete office error while deleting the key to fix this error we have to right click on it and then go to permissions after going to permissions click on advanced then click on this checkbox replace all child object permission entries with inheritable permission entries from this object then click on OK click on yes now click on allow the full control this one click on allow and then click OK again now try to delete this entry and 
that's it it got deleted delete this office csp as well click on delete and that's it done now let's go to the top again collapse this and expand the next hive hk users expand the first hive the default one we do not have to do anything with the other hives only the first hive so expand default go to the same location again software then microsoft and then office here's office right click on it and click on delete that's it now again collapse the default and for office activation issues most of the times they get resolved if we provide the full permissions to this hive that ends with number 20 so right click on it and click on permissions and click on allow i have already allowed it so if this hive is uh, this option this checkbox is unchecked make sure that you check it and then click on ok it should be checked so now we are done with the manual removal of microsoft office after this you have to just right click here and then restart the computer once you restart the computer you can start the installation of microsoft office and you'll see that the problem which you are facing that has been resolved microsoft office installation should go without any problems and once the installation gets completed you can launch your microsoft office applications without any problems and everything will be working fine so this is the proper method to remove microsoft office from the computer and fix most of the common issues that take place while installing or launching the microsoft office applications so that's it for today thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel now and like this video and share this video if your friends are facing any problems with microsoft office installation thank you again thank you for watching have a good day bye bye